so there's all sorts of cra other crazy things like, you know, you can see there's a, can you, I don't know if you can see on the monitor, but there's a drop shadow for the airplanes. And as a, as a flight gets higher in altitude, I actually fuzz the drop shadow out and I do all sorts of crazy things like this. So it's amazing these cheap tricks that work really well. Yeah. So it looks like you used Stamen's design was for the tile design? This it? map is, is, yeah, this is the Stamen Designs tile map. Um, I can uh, switch that. We have, uh, I can go to like the satellite map if our, well, maybe if our internet works. Well, that'll load eventually. Um, yeah, no, we can use any base map underneath it. There it goes. And, uh, Weiss is trying to translate that it speaks his cables in Catalan. Um, Google's so helpful. Let me just show you one other map. Another one that we like a lot, which is from GeoIQ, is, is um, it's called Acetate, and it's just a terrain map. But it's really good for showing data on top of it. It really shows off the weather on the airplanes and stuff. There were there was in the back. Uh, when you switch, did you rework the APIs completely, or did you create a translation service for the translation? I I rewrote them. Um, yeah, I had originally actually built this in, using Google Maps, and uh, when I switched it over, I, it actually was amazing because it was it was easier to to rewrite it because the interface. Was, we're, we're actually doing some fairly complex things here. So we, we were actually changing the, day, you know, the, the object in Google Maps quite a bit. And that's a little painful. I think all the Google Maps people are all Java programmers. They have a very static classing system. And we really wanted to be able to combine things together. And so it, it actually, the code was much simpler. So now we did not want to translate it at all. We wanted to rewrite it. And we're really glad we did. So, yeah. Uh, you said that. Uh we couldn't get a firm answer from them, but yeah, that we, was your that's, that's what we were guessing. Yeah. And, and how much is it costing you now comparatively to implement all these uh, you know, three layers of the open source uh, alternatives? I mean, um, well, the only cost, I mean, there's a cost associated with the time of the program, and I, I, I have no estimate for that. Right. Um, and that's that'd be unfair anyway, because 